Hey everybody, it's Professor Powerline, and welcome back to more Let's Play Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last part, I fell off this little head here, found a game glitch, and got stuck. And I had to quit the video there. In this part, we're going to finally finish this puzzle. So, hit this thing to raise the water level, as you have, might have noticed. Hook shot over there. There really wasn't much left to do, but it would have taken me too long to finish it, so, you know, whatever. Anyway, lower the water level back down one last time. I want to get them stuck in the air again. That was fun. Get on top of the head and raise the water level one more time. Pretty dang straightforward. But still creative and still think it's a good puzzle. But you know, whatever. So up here we got some of these uh, blue spider guys that I can't ever pronounce the name of, so. Just gonna call them spider thingies. And a like like. Kill the like like with your bombs. If you just want to play it safe, you can go up there and fight it the other way if you want, but that's no nothing I'm going to do, because I'm always paranoid with this it, with these things. Alright, now we've done that. Hook shot across. And get some magic. Alright, so. Any good Zelda player knows what's in this room right here. And this room right here, despite having a really cool effect, has something in it that every Zelda fan knows. And it has spawned ridiculous storylines, all kinds of game mods, and timeline theories just go crazy with it. It's really something else entirely and something I wonder why the game designers didn't go more in-depth with I mean it had a lot of potential but for some reason they didn't want to use it so if you cross the room after all that big build there's actually just a locked door it's what happens when you turn around that's the problem this right here is dark link yep the game designers made a false link and never did anything with it except make him a mini boss so this guy is going to be tough. He can dodge pretty much every weapon you've got. And the best way to beat him is actually to use unlocked on sword fighting. Or that's a way to beat him. Not maybe the best, but this ain't working for me. Let's try this way. Come on. Come on. I personally am not very good at fighting like this because my sword play sort of is terrible. There is an easy and rather cheap way to fight him. And that is your Megaton Hammer. The only weapon he's incapable of dodging. It's going to take 13 hits to knock this guy out, and it's... With the Megaton Hammer, it's no problem at all. With your sword, it's a bit of a chore. But, hit him, Link. So anyway, as far as I know, this is Link's, uh, Dark Link's first appearance. I could be wrong about that, correct me if I am. But I do believe this is Dark Link's first appearance. And they've never really gone in-depth with him in any game he's appeared in. In Twilight Princess, he was in one kind of weird cutscene that I really don't understand too well. I mean, I get the meaning of cutscene, but... Um, Darkling's rolling, it wasn't clear. <laughs> and there were three of them in that scene, so... But, yeah, they just really don't ever use Darkling to any kind of real extent. He's got a lot of character plot potential, but not much of it is used. I believe the only game you really had a main role in was Four Swords, but once again, I could be wrong about that, correct me if I am. And you're gonna lose a lot of help on this guy. Okay, stop backflipping. Okay, I'm getting destroyed right now. Get out of his range. Whoa, what happened in the background? Oh, it's just my spin attack. Come on. I want to beat these guys so I can move on to dungeon. And yeah, this is the sub boss. This is that was totally obvious by now. And I may actually lose to this guy. Alright, Megaton Hammer cheapness. Stop dodging the Megaton Hammer. I'm getting destroyed right now. It's unbelievable. I can't touch this guy. Is he any harder? It's just me, because I beat him just fine in my practice. Come on, die already. There we go. Finally. Sheesh. Anyway, once you've defeated Dark Link, this room will return to whatever the heck it was supposed to look like before, which is not nearly as cool as the room looked before with its epic random tree in the middle of nowhere. I love the way that room looked. That room was so cool. But anyway, yeah, that was Dark Link, the character that spawns so much ridiculous fan... everything. I say fan art, but that's not what it's limited to. But anyway, right here is the key item in this dungeon. It's a bit of a letdown, if you ask me, because after all we did, we deserve something more than... an extension to your hookshot. That's right, your hookshot is now the long shot. Yeah. Dumb. 
I know. <sighs> but I guess that's the price we pay. Uh, it's one of the things I didn't like about this dungeon, and its main item is kind of a letdown. I mean, after the Megaton Hammer, you're going to just extend the hookshot, really? It's not even worth it. But whatever, I guess. So, anyway, going down here, we now have this little slide course. Yeah, thank you. Oh, gee, thanks for telling me that, Navi. I thought that looked cool, and I was going to go... Oh, Navi! You're so dumb. So dumb. Now, I lost virtually all my health in that fight, so I'm going to be cheapo and walk along the bottom of the water to get um, some hearts, because Dark Link did a number on me just now. Okay. Thank you, Link. Link. Don't be, like, pulling this crap again. Not after the... Okay, fine. You can have your stupid three hearts, Link. I don't even want to heal you anymore. You know what you are? You're an idiot. But there's a gold control there, so I suppose we should get that. Alright, so right here I should point out, the long shot does have one thing. It lives up to its name. The range on this thing? Ridiculous. No lies have been spoken there. This thing's got unbelievable range. It really is deserving of the name long shot. But I still think it's kind of a letdown after the Megaton Hammer, so... If you disagree with that, fine, whatever. I won't stop you. And I just need Link to get up there so we can get out of this place. So let's re equip our uh, bow and arrow. Don't need the Megaton Hammer like ever again. And hit the eye. Because as you know, no eye goes unpoked. That is the moral at the end of the story of Legend of Zelda. And we get probably something useless. Yep, oh wait, small key. I actually thought this was useless. And this leads us to. Yep, this room again, with the swirling vortex of terror. So, let's just be on our way. Get out here, I said get out, and off we go. Dodge this guy, pull my hookshot out. Don't kill him. I hate this guy, he makes it impossible to get out here unless we kill him. Drop some hearts, okay, I need him. Nope, okay, be that way. Three little spider. And off we go. Get my iron boots. Again with switching the iron boots on and off. Now if I remember correctly, the way to leave this place is kind of jerkish. You actually have to leave your iron boots on for some stupid reason or another. They don't you just float up. You actually have to use your uh, long shot to get out. I'm going to hate calling it a long shot. In fact, I may just keep calling it hook shot. And uh, Link, you're an idiot. <sighs> Come on, out we go. Work with me. Oh wait, the water level's been raised. I don't have to. <laughs> dumb. Dumb, 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 dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. But on that note, we actually do have to lower the um, water, the water level all the way back down to get something real quick. The last thing we have to do on this floor, actually. And hey, what's up, Spikes? Good to see you. So let's go do that real quick. Go over here and remove my iron boots again. Did I mention I like it better when they're a sea weapon like they're in? Yeah, I did. They are so much better like that. Nice little hole in the wall there. Get off the ceiling link, or the yeah, ceiling, I guess. And go up here. Play Zell's Lullaby again. I really get sick of playing this song. I mean, it's been so drummed in your head by this point in the game. I mean, if you give a uh, N64 controller to anyone who's played Majora's, or not Majora's Mask, uh, Ocarina of Time, they will be able to play Zelda's Lullaby or some song from this game. I guarantee you that. It's just, it's ridiculous. This game gets so drummed into your memory, and I really could use some help. Like, no joke, I need some help. I am kind of weak right now. But whatever. <laughs> So, we're going to the last room we didn't go to um, last time we had the water level lowered because we actually can't do anything in here until we have the long shot. Because the desired area is way over there. And you can't get to it without your long shot, so yeah. 
go in here. Hopefully it's something short because I'm running out of time. This does not look short. Alright, look, a boulder. Alright, that denied the laws of physics right there. Denied. Defied the laws of physics. Oh, look, another boulder. But you're going to defy the laws of physics too, aren't you? Go ahead, do it. See if I care. Alright, so let's see here. What do we have to do? Might have been a good idea to look into this before I left. Oh, well, just wing it. You know what? Let's swim across. Tally ho! Get my iron boots on. This is literally just a timing puzzle, isn't it? Not timing so much, but. Get over here, take my boots off. And. Surface link. Okay, well, I'll take it anyway. For once, these guys are almost helpful. Let's go through here. And I think we're getting dangerously close to the boss at this point, so... You know what, there's not too much of this temple left, so I think I'm gonna call it a day here. What are those? Stingers. Okay. Um, next time on Let's Pledge of the Ocarina of Time, we're gonna finish off this temple. Probably won't get to the boss, but, you know, who knows. And, um, yeah. Alright, see y'all next time.